see this one here? What are these? H. Yes, what's H? H is hydrogen, the first element in the periodic table. It has one at it has one proton, one electron. You guys know protons and electrons. One proton, one electron. Now, what fusion is? Fusion is when you have these these when you have uh, these two hydrogen atoms, or when you have elements for, it, uh, for that matter. When you hit them, when you give them a lot of energy, and they bang into each other really hard, they they they, they hit each other. Then they because they're so they're so strong that they stick hit each other. That they stick together and they form this thing. It's called messing. What's good? It was this. H E. Uh, e. Helium. What's helium? Helium is. Okay. So we have two hydrogen atoms, right? One proton, another proton. Together. You have two protons in the middle. That makes helium. Okay, but fusion does not only create helium when you have two hydrogens together. It creates, see this over here, MeV. MeV. What's that, man? What is it? Huh? Electron volts. Right. Electron volts is energy. So you have helium plus energy. So fusion is basically when you slam elements together, they stick together, they make the next element on the periodic table. And they also create energy. And that's why the sun is shining so brightly all the time. That's why the sun is so hot. Because this process of fusion, the sun is most made of mostly hydrogen. And because this process of fusion happens billions and billions of times a second in the sun, it's creating a lot of energy, a lot of heat, a lot of light. And it's what's keeping the sun floating in space. So it's keeping it out there. If, it stopped, if fusion stopped, if there was no energy coming out, the sun would collapse on itself. So again, the question is, where do these elements come from? And what does this have to do with the sun? What does this have to do with fusion? Well, if you take, if after you have helium left, right, you're going to get a lot of helium left over because this is happening billions and billions of times a second in the sun. So eventually, you're going to have a lot of helium. Then next, helium starts sliding into each other. Then they make the next element. And then the next element. So fusion occurs for helium, right? Helium, bam, they, they fuse together, form beryllium, bam, they fuse together, another one. Bam, 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 bam. Until eventually it stops at here. It stops here. Why does it stop here? Iron, Fe. Oh, I should have should quizzed you. <laughs> what is Fe? Fe is iron. It's like metal. Why does it stop at iron? Because when you fuse iron together, when you slam iron together, it sucks energy back in instead of giving it out. And so what did I say? When you when the sun stops giving out energy, it starts losing energy, it collapses, right? Because the energy is like the energy is like is like pushing the sun outward. And if it stops, it's just going to shrink. 